MRIs and CAT scans are frequently used to evaluate patients who've had epilepsy. MRIs don't use any radiation. They are use magnets to basically look at the brain. They give us a much better detailed picture of the brain to look at how the brain developed, to see if there's any funny, unusual blood vessels or anything else like that. CAT scans are used if somebody comes in with a first seizure or a head injury, and that gives them a more gross picture of the head. So you get more of a sort of the bones, and you can tell if there's a bleed going on or if there's some big nasty tumor that's sitting in there. But they should just be a first sort of emergency neuroimaging. Yeah, so CAT scans are typically used in the emergency room after the first seizure. But if someone has a perfectly normal examination, you're not necessarily going to do it because the CAT scan is only going to eliminate abnormal blood vessel popping or bleed in the head or head trauma. Um, it'll look for a quick brain tumor. So it's, it's a good screening tool. But someone with real epilepsy, you're going to want a really good MRI. And so you need a, a good MRI, which is a 3T machine. You need thin cuts so that what an MRI does is it sort of cuts the brain into segments um, going this way and sideways and it gives you a 3D representation of the brain. So you want very thin cuts so that you can see at very small levels of the brain what exactly is going on and if there's something there that could be causing seizures. So when you're discussing with the people who take care of you, did I have an MRI, did I have a CAT scan, you want a good quality MRI, make sure you're not missing anything on there, making sure that there's no abnormal cortical dysplasia or migrational defect that could cause the epilepsy. And a CAT scan is not the what we recommend. It's a good MRI read by experts who read brain MRIs all the time. And that will guarantee that you've got a good evaluation.